Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, this video is, uh, let me bring it up here, change it. Mom explodes after finding out kids choose to live with dad. And the, uh, as you can see there, the, the YouTube channel is Enemy of the State TV. Um, go check them out if you want to. Give them a, a like and a subscribe or whatever. So um, I watched about the first two minutes of this just to uh, kind of get what's going on or whatever. And so after that, I have not seen anything. So um, I'm just going to kind of react as I go. It's kind of a longer one, so um, Both of you. we'll see. An audio. Let's skip Followed to by defendant here. Mother at the front of the court recommendation, Mr. Pratt, dated August 13th, 2024, be adopted. Specifically, mother's spending time with Cadence and Isabel shall be every other weekend, Friday at 4.30 oh, God. to Monday at 2 school during the school year during the summers, week on, week off, with the exchange that Sundays at 6 o'clock. Mother's spending time with London shall be reasonable and liberal. Further that, the outstanding parenting time complaints filed with the front of the court. Look at her. She's already eighth, uh, be dismissed. She's already being dramatic. Uh, Look at that. Both parties have provided the court with yeah. essays, what they have learned for the high conflict solutions oh, workshop. Dramatic. Uh, I just want to point out real quick, <laughs> um, and you'll, I think you'll see it a little in here in a little bit or something, but this bitch has got fake lips. She's got, I call them problem glasses. I appreciate both you taking. Uh, you could see... I don't know if you can really see it, but she's got, it's like the big 50s frames uh, looking glasses. So got her hair all done and she's got the nose bull ring. So many red flags right off the bat. Dude, this dude down here, man. Like why, why did you stick your dick in crazy and make babies with this bitch, dude? Like I just, anyway, those, those are little things that I noticed right off the bat taking that uh, program uh, hopefully it was beneficial I, I, i'm not uh, the court does not order the completion of that class if it's a waste of time so i, I hope that there was some value in that about. class for both of you to make life easier for each of you all right so uh, okay mr Sewell, do you understand the recommendation i do understand it i understand what's wrote i don't understand how we got here okay so you disagree with the recommendation absolutely how we got there is we have an independent uh, 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 experience front of the court uh, facilitator. I don't, I personally feel and like she's interviewed your children. So your children are 16, 14, 13. This is not like a, okay. a, a yeah. six year old. So much more weight to be given on the the uh, thoughts and input of the children. I can guarantee you that, Ms. Sewell. So maybe you should uh, in, ask yourself these questions <laughs> because obviously this is what the children want. Get them, Judge. <laughs> Get her. Look at this. She's already got the fucking attitude going on. She's already going to get those crocodile tears. Get them. The children would always choose ice cream over broccoli, and that's what's happening right here. I choo I serve my children broccoli. He chooses choose to serve them ice cream. Children wow. will always choose ice cream over broccoli. Wow. <laughs> Look at her coming in with this tood. This bitch has got two. There are serious concerns within this case that have not been addressed. And unfortunately, it's it's so sickening and and disturbing this case that the the outcome of this recommendation is me dropping out. I don't wish to continue this anymore. My children have been failing educationally for years and he's the one in charge of getting them to school taking them to school he's been charged with truancy charges my son um has dropped out of school my children are depressed suicidal on medication and all absence of their mother but yes continue the same path for them everybody agreed that something different needed to be done wow. and choosing the same sickening and despair life for them was is enough for me to decide that continue on and do that my son is 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 now dropped out of school there's no changing that my daughter had a 1.3 grade average last year there i have went to court every single year fighting to know knowledge about my kids fighting to be present for my kids yeah. fighting for my kids to attend birthday parties 
fighting for my kids to attend funerals. I don't believe in this. I've had to go to court to know my kids' education, to know their therapist. I've had to go to court to- There's probably a reason. Have you tell him that he had to keep them in school so he wouldn't take them out for acting classes. I've had to go to court for all these things and nothing has been done. So now my children, 13, 15, and 16 years old are on medication, failing classes, depressed, suicidal, sexual activity, uh, talking what? to men online, um, uh... absolute disgust, all, and he won't do anything about it. I'm not allowed to be present. I'm pushed out of the way. So, of course, the kids want to choose whether they're not parented, not governed, and they're, he's feeding them ice cream over broccoli. Absolutely, 100%. I agree with them. However, I don't choose to be a part of it anymore. I choose to not have the police called on me when I take away my son's Xbox. I choose <laughs> to not have CPS yeah. called on me when I'm trying to get help for my daughter's suicide problems. I choose to not have false police reports called on me about stalking my ex. I, I'm what? choosing... D okay, S sorry to interrupt, guys. This is... You, bitch, you are showing that you are the crazy one. You are easily, you you are digging yourself a hole deeper and deeper and deeper. Look at the, the guy over here, down here, the the dad or the husband or whatever. He's just, he's just like, yeah, just keep talking. Just keep fucking talking. He's so chill and cool about this. I love it. Let's keep going, baby. If you guys keep don't going. choose better for my kids, I'm choosing to step aside. Flat out. I have two other children to parent oh, and, no. and worry about. <laughs> no. You That's got five feel. kids? You have you have five children? Oh my god. No wonder that you're fucked up and your kids are fucked up. That's oh, 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 oh keeps getting better. Keeps getting better. Miss, yes, Miss man. Hold, hold on. There's another no, one thing. No, no, no. You do not tell the judge to hold on. Started oh, this. Wow. I, I started all these parenting time complaints. And up until this point, because he was allowing the kids to move freely between homes. Really quick. Imagine if a guy was like, no, no, judge, hold on. No, no. You hold on, judge. He would be like, yeah, dude, you shut the fuck up. You're in contempt of court. Jail. But since it's a fucking female and she's rambling on and getting all emotional that's a good shot like positive huh she's it's okay and she's not in contempt of court see this i mean the judge was kind of cool at first but he's still letting her fucking go if a guy was doing this the judge would be like shut the fuck up we're moving on and it was we all working know out it. fantastically we great until he tried to strong oh, arm me into oh paying him some money Stop hold on one second me. He had moved a man into the basement with my 12-year-old daughter, lied to me about it, lied to the courts about it, wouldn't let CPS in, and my daughter is expressing sexual habits and behaviors, and nobody will investigate it, and nobody hears me. Would you be comfortable with your daughter expressing sexual pornography and doing things online, knowing that there is a man living down in the basement and she's telling people? That she's dating a forty-year-old man. Oh, jeez. Would you feel? Well, you would you feel comfortable with that? This, this is who I'm leaving my children with. I can't wait to hear his side of the story. First of all, Miss Sewell, have you reviewed uh, the? I think Mister <laughs> X and uh, filed with the in the court file. There's a University of Michigan psychiatric emergency department reports. I have. I have. Okay. And can I? I mean, can I explain dated. something to you? Stated uh, June 6th, where your daughter was taken to the hospital. She claims yep. that she's there's ongoing. Uh, this is her words. Yes, can I explain something to you? Yes, can I explain Quiet. something to you? So I just want to make sure this... that you, no, you don't need want to make sure you saw these. I did. So I did. You... Absolutely. And it made me ball. It's so sickening because here's the thing. Again, if a guy, if the man, the husband was acting like this, being super emotional and interrupting the judge, the judge, because he's a man, would kick him out, holding him in contempt, yell at him. But because it's a fucking female, she gets to go like this. This is the privilege that we talk about. Any any ladies watching this, getting upset about this, this is the privilege we're talking about. Little privileges like this. She's all emotional. She's interrupting the judge. She's telling him how things are going. If a man did that, out. Contempt of court. 
maybe even jail time or a fine. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Your Honor. Oh, yep. Make it up. Mr. Ackerson, I was explaining my concerns of what I was finding on her phone and explaining what I have known my son to do and explaining what we had just came across. The referee wanted to say that the kids were not allowed around each other and was concerned about incest relationships because what I was finding on Isabel's phone while she was in Mr. Ackerson's home. So I explained this to the court. The referee was like, whoa, something's going on. You know, the kids aren't allowed around each other. Mr. Ackerson went home and told Issa and London that I was accusing them of having an ancestral relationship ancestral. and blamed the entire thing on me. So she absolutely was so mad at me. And I think I provided text messages to the court where she was saying, my mom's so weird. She thinks I'm having sex with my brother and she thinks I'm having sex with my, my room, my dad's roommate. But these are the things that I'm finding on her phone and I'm providing them to the court. I'm not having conversations with my daughter about what I'm thinking. I'm leaving it to the, I'm leaving, I'm having conversations with Aaron Atkinson. This has nothing trying to, to get do. to the bottom oh, of it. Man. And then he's going and telling the exact, <sighs> he is showing her, even these classes, he is showing them the paperwork and get, putting it in shit. their faces, absolutely causing problems. I've came to the court. Wow. So every single year about things that I, I'm, I'm bad mouth, I'm talked about. Of course the kids view me like this. This is 100% parental alienation and the courts have enabled the abuse of me, the control of me, and I'm done. I'm, if you guys cannot see that, why would I be fighting for my kids to abuse them? All I want for Jesus. them to do is do better in school. Hold him accountable to that court order. It's a court order for a reason. You're not allowed to badmouth me every chance you get. My kids don't need to grow up Ugh. in a toxic environment of like that. I love them so much and only want the best for them. So yeah, they hate me for making them clean their rooms. They hate me for yeah. making them, grounding them, taking away their cell phone. Kids I took away that. my daughter's cell phone because of the things that she was posting on TikTok and the boys that she was talking to. He turned around and bought her a new phone. <laughs> after, after, wow. after all this, I can't, I have, there's no, there's no disciplining the kids. There's okay. no wanting better for them. I am merely nothing more than a babysitter. So I choose to not do it. Fine. I, I can't. Okay, I cannot we get it. live and I cannot Jeez. be exposed due to the police knocking on my door again. Our two relations. Hope you're feel so bad for my kids. Okay. His, the, I'm the just, kids I'm did fast my forwarding. therapist to pay. Miss Sewell, the children need their mother. So I uh, hope you keep yeah, an open mind. Yeah, and they mind. also they need, need a happy mother. mother and one mother that's not being constantly controlled and abused and enabled by the court system to continue the abuse. I cannot handle it anymore. I have hit a peak. For I'm fast forwarding. Time. Sorry, I Miss Sewell, uh, oh. first of all, uh, Mr. Um, make sure you're, you're listed. You should be involved in school activities, one parent teach conferences. Make sure that you're listed as a contact at school. Absolutely, you're the parent. I have um, had to go to court so the, and fight for every to... single thing of that, and I do. Quit I attend interrupting, everything bitch. that I am aware of, that I can. I attend oh everything. I do everything that I'm... Dude, if I was the judge, like, this bitch would be out so fucking fast. I would hold her. I would be like, hey, stop, 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 stop. She needs to shut the fuck up. But, you know, to, I sh she's, she's, she's digging her own grave. So Go up to therapy. Yeah, I yeah. I about every move me and you so proud of push school go cool. bring it to the court the court the court fully understands your it's okay with it why are miss you okay Will? with it All right miss Will, the court the court fully understands your position keep in, in tabs if in fact the children are missing school bring it to the court's attention the court I will have, make changes i have you have all the paperwork right now you have all the paperwork right now i okay. have that's a joke you telling me that i have i brought all text messages school paperwork i have I have absolutely brought everything. The 37 absences. I brought that, Your Honor. Jesus. Mr. Atkinson, do you understand the recommendation this morning? Yes, I do. Do you have any objection to the court adopting the recommendation? No, I do not. Okay, the court's going to add a couple things to this recommendation. If you could, please, Ms. Brower. Uh, number yes, one is that um, the children shall, all three children shall be in, involved in counseling, and they shall not be your counselor or therapist, Mr. Atkinson. I, not it, someone it, that you are seeing. Counseling. Just understand, all three children should be in, enrolled in counseling. They've all three got problems. 
so all three should be enrolled in counseling and they should not be your therapist or counselor. And finally, see how the judge is going off on him and he hasn't said a fucking word. And he was trying to be like, yeah, they're not my counselor. And then the judge talks over him. I'm not liking this judge more and more, man. If the children miss school because of illness, you need to take them to the doctor that day. No unexcused absences. So if they're, if they're, you take them home. He schedules the appointment during school. During miss school, school. tonight interrupt. There you go. Mr. Jackson, if these Fuck children yeah. are sick, they don't go to school, you need to take them to a doctor that day. Understood? Understood. Um, and Miss um, Sewell, please keep uh, tabs on the, on the records. If, in fact, they're missing school, the She's court's going to bring them back into court, and the court wants the answer is why they're not in school. This is the joke. <laughs> I've been doing this for years, Your Honor. Every single year, I provide the school record. Every single year. So you're telling me to do exactly what you told me last year, which was the thing that you exactly told me the year before, which is the exact thing that you told me the year before. You've told me this every single year. Every single year, you've told me this. I've been bringing this to you every single year. Every single year, Your Honor. Well, we've got three files here, and we've been in a lot of activity, but bring them timely. Ms. Sula, I, I, I do, I apologize. Your Honor. I, it has uh, 30 again, days to, you have 30 days to file the complaint. I do, Your Honor. I do, I do. I file everything on time. I do bring it to you. I do. So you're telling me the exact same thing as you did a year ago. So what is it going to be? One more child is going to drop out? Are we going to wait till one more child gets to drop out? Oh, I don't know. Bring because this could have been prevented. This you, absolutely could have been prevented. The court's attention. I have I this absolutely could have been prevented. I'm not going to talk over you, try to talk above you, Ms. Sewell. So the court will adopt the recommendation. I will conclude this review. Do bring it to the court's attention, please. I will look at it. So please bring it to the court's attention and the court's going to amend the uh, recommendation. With I mean, he's saying that, like, I'll look at it. I, that To me, that tells me she hasn't been doing it. If if she's been submitting all this stuff and nothing's been done, then she needs to find another avenue. There's got to be something else that she can do or she's not doing it. Those are Your Honor, can I ask something else? Sure. Go ahead. Oh, um, God. This judge is not... God, he's he's treating her with such kid gloves and i hate it so we have um a thing on our court order that we are not supposed to talk about each other on social media however i'm not being quiet about what's being done to me at court anymore and since the court order has never been filed before i mean uh followed before and there are no consequences so if i start speaking out about what's being done in the care that mr Atkinson and i i have already interviewed with the podcast company that wants to hear my story about what's been happening with friend of the court cps and how i've been treated and in injustice and the fact that you're still allowing this behavior and you're giving custody to him am i allowed to speak about it or are you putting a no speak order on me am i allowed to tell my story or is this court allowed orders, to be aired? Sewell, if you're not sure about filing court orders and should consult an attorney because yes you violate court orders people can be held in contempt with that okay, but why is he allowed to be held why is he allowed to disobey the court order but he is not allowed to be held in, he never gets held in contempt <laughs> so why is it that i only am allowed to be held in contempt but he does not have to be held in contempt you just dismissed about 20 both 20, parties my, are subject, my, subject to the contempt powers of this court and violate court orders. With that, uh, but you're not because you just dismiss all my court orders that he violated. So are you going to choose to violate me and not? If he's dismissing them, then he finds that they're they're not good. That's that's the reason. If the judge dismisses it or doesn't put them into consideration, then they're bunk. They're bullshit. That's why he's not doing anything about it. That it's because all this stuff that whatever she thinks is important, the judge is being like, no, this is this Him, isn't once relevant. again. I'm just saying I want to speak out. I want this podcast to be aired. I very much want my voice to be heard. I think that other people can benefit from hearing my story about the injustice that's been being caused to me. I want to speak out about my story and <sighs> I want to make sure that I'm not being contempt of court again because I'm the only one that gets held in contempt of court. So I'm asking you to lift that ban on me being able to speak and me being able to speak about my story. Imagine having to live with a bitch like this. Oh. Your request is denied. Oh. <laughs> okay, I will take my chances. Oh. Hey, that will conclude this hearing. Oh. So she just admitted that she's going to like try and be in contempt. She, like, imagine if a guy was acting like this. He would have already been held in contempt of court. You know?
Thank you, Ms. Brower. Your Honor, that new recommendation will be in your queue in just a moment. Thank you. Wow. Just wow. Oh my God. I can't, dude. Like, guys, this, if you take anything away from this video, this is why MGTOW, Red Pill guys say, never get married. At least the MGTOW guys. Maybe not the Red Pill guys so much, but MGTOW guys are like, no cohabitation, no children, never getting married, things like that. This is such a good example as to why as to why you never stick your dick in crazy you don't have children with these bitches you don't live with them you don't marry them um i, I don't remember if these two were married or not she doesn't have his last the same last name so I'm, I'm assuming they weren't married but she's got two other kids with i don't know another father two other fathers who knows she's got five kids and now, like, they're all separated. They're all having problems, apparently. And I think it's her. Just by the way she's acting in this little court thing, she's fucking nuts. She is crazy. Did you hear how much I was, like, fast-forwarding through all of her ranting I was doing, that she was doing? Fuck this, dude. No way. No way. And this guy should have known better. We all should know better not to do this, guys. Don't get married. That's, that's it. Don't get married. Don't have children, in my opinion. This Because this is what can happen. Look at this. Look at this stress. All this crap that you have to go through, showing up to court, listening to her, dealing with this, having kids that are getting messed up because their mom is a piece of shit. No, thanks, man. I'll... I'll <laughs> I'll skip, I'll, uh, I'll keep being a single, very happy, living the quiet life bachelor. I know this was a longer one, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Like, share, subscribe. Love you all. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.